Hey guys, how's it going? I don't know, but hello. Today, I am obviously wearing a face and makeup for once in my life for a video. And it's actually for a good reason. Today, I'm going to be showing you how I take my pictures and edit them for my Instagram page. And this isn't going to be for my like personal Instagram page because that's a different story. And I like to mostly post like photography pieces on that page. But this is for my makeup page where I mostly post selfies where you see my face, my makeup, la 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 la. And the reason I'm doing this is because a lot of my friends ask me how I edit and how I like pose for my photos. I'm not saying I'm like unique in any way, I'm not original, but I feel like I do it a lot different than a lot of people. The essential steps you need to take my Instagram photos are, I don't know, a space to do it. I usually just use this wall, but there's more. Next thing you need is a tripod, which is just how I take them. I just feel like it's easier with a tripod instead of like stacking things, because that's what I used to do. But now that I have access to this, it's just a lot easier. But go ahead, if you need to do anything else, go do that. For taking the actual photos, you can use a phone, an actual camera, depends what you have. I really just don't have a good high quality camera. Like I have the one I'm filming on, but I like that more for filming purposes. I like my Instagram to be a little bit more higher quality. I have an iPhone 8. The final thing you need for my Instagram photos personally is, oh no, a background. You would need a background. And the reason I like to use background is just a little bit more clean for Instagram photos, I feel like. That's just it. I don't know. I just feel like having like a door behind it is just kind of like bleh. That's just my personal opinion. But again, if you do that, it's totally fine. It's just my opinion. So the first essential thing is put on, putting on makeup, which I already did, obviously. Because I just didn't really want to show you because I didn't know if it was going to go well or not. The second thing you need is an outfit of some sorts. I usually like to coordinate whatever I look I'm doing with my outfit. So if I'm doing a green look, I'll try and wear a green shirt. If I'm doing a yellow look, I'll do a yellow shirt. And if I'm like, you know, see what I mean? See what I mean? So let's go choose an outfit. So as you can see, my clothes are like together in a rainbow format. And since I really don't got much going on right now, I literally have black eyeliner. I'm thinking of a black shirt. There's this cute one I just got from the thrift store that has like stripes on it. And this is the one I'm about to wear. Okay, I'll put that on, I'll be right back. Okay, so I got my shirt on. It's just the long sleeve striped shirt. And then, what I also like to do is depending on the look too, um, I like to do something with my hair. I usually like to wear earrings, so I like to pin like two pieces back like that so you can see my ears. So I might be doing that right now. So yeah. Next, uh, yeah. I like to put on earrings. I really don't have that many pairs of earrings, but I do have these hoops with stars on them that I love very much. Also, I think I just look fucking whack because I have eyeliner on. I never wear eyeliner. I think it looks good on you. So now that's together, and I kind of, I like that, so I'm just gonna keep it, and I'll take photos and I see if I like it or not, but at this moment I like it. So then comes the wallpaper, which is the bee's challenge, because it's big. If you're wondering what this is and where I got it, it's just a piece of paper. I mean, you can go out and really get a big old thing if you wanted, but that just seems like a lot of work. Also, I like yellow. But I kind of want to go get a green background soon, but sis got no money for that right now. So what we do is unravel it, struggle, get some pins, and then we just try and hang it. Uh-oh. Ah! Unroll it. You stop. Are you talking to me? I'm showing them how to do it independently. Honestly, the two top pins are the hardest and then the, the bottom pins are kind of just making sure it's straightened out. It's not like you're seeing the whole entire thing. It's just like, you just, <gasps> my earring fell out. Um, you just need to get like the background obviously of where you're taking the photo. I think that's good. So yeah, as you can see, not that professional. It's just there. <laughs> and then next what I like to do is set up my tripod. I kind of have to move around my filming setup so you can see what's kind of happening now. So as you can see now, it's like fully up. Everything is fully erected. <laughs> and then you kind of just put the tripod wherever you kind of want right now at this moment. So I'm just going to put set it here because that's where I usually like to take a good distance away. This should, this should be kind of like 
what your setup looks like. If you're taking this photo exactly like me. A tripod, a background with, make sure you have some sort of good lighting. This is just the bathroom lighting I just have. And also make sure to take pictures in front of a mirror. It is very handy. I will say it has saved me a lot because you can kind of check yourself in the mirror before even taking the photo. So I think, I don't know if anyone really knows or like, I'm pretty sure other people do this, but a lot of people I know don't do this. I take videos of my poses and then I screenshot the poses from the video. Also, I think that's way faster than doing the 10 second timer holding 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 i've been doing the video thing for like about like ever since i moved to regina yeah yeah so like i'm not sure also i don't have a personal photographer i don't know what the fuck you have i mean i could if i bribed victoria but like that's very rare also she's not that good at taking photos anyway so what i like to do is now set up for the photo and then make sure I think this is kind of where I want it right now make sure it's kind of kind of in line with you not too high not too low depending on your height again and then I like to set up my phone make sure the lens is not dirty because that will just F up your entire picture taking process and then I'm gonna do that right now kind of like set it up make sure your phone is as balanced as possible to make sure it's like straight Oh, wow, I look kind of cute in the picture. <laughs> this is what it should kind of look like when I'm set up properly. Because it's a good distance above my head. It's like kind of where I want it down here so I can show a little bit more emotion in my photos. <laughs> also, I just, I just love this. I love taking photos. Photography is like one of my biggest passions. And if I could get a real ass camera and have a real ass studio, that would be my dream. But you got the money? Because I don't. Anyway, so this is where the awkward part begins because if anyone walks in on you and you're doing some weird ass poses, they're gonna be like, what the fuck are you doing? I'm just like, I'm taking Instagram photos and they're like, what the fuck? And I'm like, I know, but don't you worry. This is why I usually do it when no one's home. This is the rare occurrence where I actually have makeup on, I'm doing photos with Victoria's here, but, um, so I just press videotape, make sure my phone does not fall off. And this is also a good thing because I can see myself in the mirror through the camera, like in, in here. And again, that's very helpful to me because I can see where my camera is at, what my angle is, if it looks kind of good. And again, the video, it just makes it a hundred times easier, a thousand times easier. The only time I don't take um, videos, but I still sometimes do, is when I'm doing closer up shots on my eyes because I get a little bit more shaky holding the phone close to my face and stuff. But other than that, like, I really just use videotape and it's a lot easier for me, so. Also, I don't know if this is helpful at all. I don't even know if this is gonna make it up on my channel. But if it is, I don't know. <laughs> so, I like to kind of do poses a lot with my hands. I don't know, it's awkward. because <laughs> I know no one's here watching me, but like, you're watching me and I, I just get so nervous taking photos, I don't know why, but. So, first pose is gonna be like, oh, what's this? I have a metal thing on my shirt. Anyway, that's kind of going. Like... Oh, and another thing I fuck up a lot with is if you're doing it in front of a mirror, do not look at the mirror through the camera. Look at the camera because I guess like it just brings you more in focus. Also, it's just kind of awkward when you're smiling and they don't know where you're looking. I don't know, I don't think it's cute. You can kind of like check yourself and then look at the camera. That's what I like to do. Ah, and then you accidentally hit your background. The reason I don't like taking selfies, um, well I guess this technically is a selfie, but it's like not really a selfie. It's, I feel like makeup pictures are so boring on Instagram. Like people literally just take it of their eye, they take it of their stupid face, like you know, or they take a mirror pic. Like they're just so set and boundary. So like, that's why I kind of like to do a little bit different poses because it draws people in. And that's also why I drew the, the yellow background because 
it draws attention and it makes me makes people click on my page. You're not watching me. Cause I'm already embarrassed by myself. I'll go take the rest of my Instagram photos and then I'll put all of them like that I take in the video. And then after that, I'll show you how I edit them. I just wanted to let you know before I continued filming, I then added freckles. So now that I'm done taking the photos, I like to usually go straight into editing like right after because I like to go sit on the couch. I like to go, you know, do stuff. More by do stuff, I mean literally sit on the couch and watch friends. So what I like to do is go straight onto my camera roll, pick obviously the file that I did. And then I like to kind of just, I don't know. I like to go, wait, how do I do this again? Oh, there we go. I haven't taken pictures in a while. Let me be. Okay. So obviously, I'm on the file. You can see at the bottom of the screen, there's a drag bar where you can see like through the video, like what's happening. So you kind of just go like that and you kind of just find your poses and then you screenshot them. Also, I like doing it this way because then I like the longer photos on Instagram. I don't know if that's just a me thing. So what I do is just slowly scroll through, see what's happening, see what I like. Okay, that's a gross ass photo. So we won't screenshot that one. Also, I'm just not used to myself um, having eyeliner on. So I might not like a lot of these photos compared to a lot of them. Because I just don't wear eyeliner because I just don't think it looks very good on me. But anyway, so this is the first photo I like. So I do a screenshot and just continue. And also at the same time, you can screenshot multiple photos from the same pose and then you can kind of like pick and choose. That's why I also like this. So yeah, we're just continuing, continuing, continuing. Ooh, she's kind of cute. Is she? Is she? Yeah, she is. Screenshot. It's okay. So now I'm just gonna kind of like go on fast mode and like just show you what I'm doing, kind of like screenshotting whatever. Also, can we just appreciate the Milani foundation in this photo? I realize I probably should have covered up that little pimple over there more, but like my skin looks flawless. Minus my eyeliner. She fucked up a little bit, but I like it. It's cute. Another thing, do as many poses as you want. Cause again, um, you might think a pose is cute. Like obviously, like a lot, I thought a lot of poses were cute. And then I looked at them within the camera and I was like, oh, they're not so cute. So the more you have, the more variety you have. And obviously Instagram only lets you post 10 things like within a thing at a time. So, and then I like to do little dancing videos at the end of every one of my posts because it kind of just shows my personality and it's just another break from like stupid, no offense. I hate Instagram beauty gurus. I hate YouTube beauty gurus. They're all so boring. Minus James Charles, I like him, and Nick tutorials. But other than that, like a lot of YouTuber um, beauty gurus are just really blah. They don't have a personality really. They're just so about the makeup. And I feel like nowadays, like everyone can do makeup, obviously. Everyone can do makeup. Maybe not well, maybe not as good as other people, but like everyone can do something. And you kind of have to show your personality at this point to kind of like stand out within the crowd. Which is why I'm so quirky. But yeah, you don't have to follow this part because I think I'm like literally, literally the only idiot that does this shit. Oh, I got a lot more photos than I thought I did. So as you see, I now have photos. We're gonna choose this gal. So the apps I use to edit my pictures are Facetune and Visco. Another thing that you can use, which a lot of my friends use, that's like the free version, is Airbrush. Airbrush is also very good, but I just feel like Facetune is a little bit more high tech and it you can do a little bit better. What I like to start with is Facetune. So then I upload the video, or not the video, the picture into this. And then what I like to do, first things first, is whiten my eyes. I like to whiten my eyes, which is the little toothbrush. Zoom in. Because especially with me with eyeliner, I feel like my eyes kind of get like lost. 
So I like to use the thing and just whiten the whitens up my eyes to like make them stand out more. Also, for some reason, my eyes look hella irritated. I'm not high. Yeah, just see, the, like that makes just such a big difference. It makes my eyes look way more open and awake and happy. And I like to go ham with the whitening. And if my piercings are out to play, which they are today, I like to take the whitening tool and kind of run them over that so they kind of stand out more. Because I feel like if you got piercings, might as well show them up. They're nice. So they're really, you can't really notice the difference with the piercings, but the, the eyes you definitely can. So that's like one of my, like, you need to do things. Especially if you're smiling in a photo, whiten helps a lot. Because if your teeth are a little yellow, you can just kind of tap over them nicely and make them look a little bit brighter. Smooth is also one of those things I always have to do. I'm not saying, like, I don't have horrible skin texture right now. Like, I actually would say I'm having a really good skin day right now. But the one thing I just really don't like about myself is my under eye hollows. As you can see, I'll come a little closer. They're, like... They're not bags, it's just like literally just my eyes. And when they kind of show through in the photo, I just feel like it doesn't represent me as well. And it makes my eyes look really droopy and bad. <laughs> so what I like to do is zoom right in. And as you can see right in that area, um, my hollows kind of stick out. So what I like to do is go right in the concave of my hollow and smooth it out. So as you can see already, it's like it added a lot and it didn't like make a big difference but to me it makes a big difference because I just feel like that's just the one thing I'm really insecure about and make sure not to go ham with the smooth tool if you are like have skin texture and you're trying to smooth out your face I was just tapping Megan and Kylie if you're watching this I know you're draggers don't do it dragging is horrible and that's what gives it away <laughs> so that's really all I smooth and then if I have like a closer up photo and my pores are really bad I like to smooth that out a little bit, but I'm looking pretty good. So that's really all I do is smooth. <sighs> I guess you could say I don't really like face tune my photos a lot, but I feel like it just really adds the, ne the next oomph to make your photos like look a lot better. Because obviously the reason I feel like editing photos is really essential is because it's literally your online portfolio. Like people see you and they, they're like, oh, your work. And I never edit makeup on. I never, like, I never do that. That's just bad. But I do like to enhance things if, like, things aren't as good as they show up on camera. Because obviously, what you do in real life is never going to show up as good unless you have a very high quality camera, which I do not personally. But, yeah, I just wanted to put that out there. <laughs> the next thing I like to do is details. Details, I like to zoom in on my eyes. And I don't really know what details does. I'm assuming it gives detail to the part you want to give detail to. So what I like to detail is my eyes. Because I like my eyes. And also, if you have eyeshadow on, it really brightens up your eyeshadow and it makes it more like... I do. Just kind of tap around my eyes because it just makes it brighter. And it might not make the slightest of difference, but like, I see a difference. You know what I mean? And I like to give some definition into my lips. Because I'd say my lips are like my biggest feature. And my schnoz, but I like her. And again, I'm fine with myself as I am, like my face-wise, body-wise, that's a different story. But like face-wise, I like my face. It's cute. She's she's cute. She does me well. But I feel like editing is just a form of artwork and it's just a fun time. Like if you enjoy editing, go do it. It's fun. What I like to do is then defocus. Defocus. I like to do it on the background so it puts more focus on the face. So I kind of just, this, this tool you can rub. I really don't care if you rub it, but just be careful and don't get your head. But yeah. And it really doesn't add like a big difference, but like I feel like it just adds a little bit so you're more clear and the background's a little bit more blurred. Um, color wise editing and like visco wise, I would say I'm not like 100% natural. Because I feel like it's kind of fun to play around with the colors, but actual editing your face is a little bit different. So next, go straight into Visco. And you can see all my old editing pictures, obviously my drag and my other photos. So that's what I do. I then take the picture that I've just edited. And obviously, at this point, I would do that for every single photo, the Facetune, and then I would import every single photo I edited and then import it into Visco. It's a long process. So now that it's imported, I like to go to editing. And I really don't like to do preset filters. Sometimes I like to get a little spicy, but not today. 
So practically my only thing I like to do is make myself a little bit more tan. Just, I'm not saying pale people are bad, but like, you know how like pale people are like sometimes gray toned? Like that's how my old photos used to be because I just didn't know how to edit them properly. And I felt like I just made myself look very gray and just, it did look good. It didn't, it didn't look cute at all. So what I like to do first is dunk right into exposure. And I usually don't lighten up my photos, I usually darken them like to point like three or four. So that yeah, it just kind of adds a little bit. Um, contrast, I usually don't go into, but like sometimes, again, if I'm feeling spicy, I go into it. I kind of just like play around. I'm just like, oh, does it look good? Does it look good? I'm just like, but the most I do, like I never go hardcore with each every filter or like setting. I like usually do, I don't do above one, barely, so. For contrast, I'm gonna go to like 0.4. Um, sharpen, maybe just a teeny tiny bit, like a 0.2. Just cause then you get like the, the details of my hair, you get the details of my lashes, and it just looks a little bit more like high quality. Next is clarity. I usually don't like to go into clarity cause that's just how you get like really etch a sketch bad photos. Saturation is my key, my, is where I'm at. So I like to make myself a teeny tiny bit more tan. I like to go into like 0.2. And in this photos, um, I will say the yellow background really helps with that. It helps kind of like warm up the photo in general. So I never go more, but if I notice I'm looking a little bit more pale than usual, I like to go a little bit more with saturation. But for right now, I'm looking kind of good. So I'm only gonna go with 0.2. White balance, I like to make the photo, again, it depends. But right now, I want to make myself a teeny tiny little bit more yellow, and I like to go into like 0.3. And the tint, again, it just kind of depends. Um, I'm gonna go a little bit into the pink side because I kind of want to show off my pink lipstick and my blush a little bit. So I'm gonna go to like 0.5, and I think that looks kind of cute. And then skin tone, I like to usually, um. I don't like to go too yellow because then it looks like you're kind of blending in with the background. Today I'm not going to go yellow toned, I'm going to go on the other side, which I think is pink. And then I'm going to go to like 0.3. Then again, do I want that? Maybe a teeny tiny bit, like a 4.5. Sorry, I'm really annoying, if you haven't noticed. And then the final step is grain, which honestly is a very big step if you face tune a lot. It kind of adds your a skin texture back if you smooth too much. And that's what Alyssa actually told, taught me. So thanks, girl. And you kind of just like play around. Obviously, too much grain. Obviously, you can't even see. But like down here, I like to usually go like a one something. And then it doesn't, like it's still, because if you zoom in, it kind of gives like that little bit of skin texture back. Since I like to edit my photos all the same, because it's just easier that way. I like to then put the recipe into Visco and then I can just import it and just put them on because it's just a lot easier that way and it cuts down my editing time a lot. And that's how I edit my Instagram photos and take them. If you want me to go more detail on how to take actual makeup photos, I could totally do that, like how I edit it to make it look more popping, how I make it like pose for photos for makeup because this is kind of just how I take like my, this is like the basic version of that video, which again, I still enjoy because I like taking photos, obviously. And the whole point of this video is to kind of just say it takes practice. It takes kind of like, I'm not going to say skill, but like just figuring out ways you like stuff. I didn't know I liked taking photos by video until like a couple months ago. I didn't know how I liked to edit my, my, like pictures until a couple months ago. It's kind of just all playing around with filters, poses, stuff like that. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure to check out more videos on my channel because I think you'll enjoy them. Some of them are funny, some of them aren't. I can't tell you which one's which. But yeah. And if you liked it, like it. I don't know. But yeah. I've been doing this for far too long. So this video is probably going to go up late, but I hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you the next time. Good. Bye.